What's good, everybody? Time for a DL short. Uh, I was just winding down, getting ready to uh, actually turn in early for once. I've been like real busy lately, and I haven't been getting to bed um, uh, at a decent hour at all. And I was almost there tonight when I came across this video. Um, James Carville, the raging Cajun, the hard charging Marine, lifelong Democrat, had uh, has a video out there, and um, he says some things that has me thinking. Um, you know what? Let's let's just watch this part of the video. Um, yeah, here we go. And we're now the part at frankly we're at a crossroads because if you were going to call the role of the great Democrats and the, of the greatest political party in existence of this planet at, at the very top of that list would be President Biden. But like anything else, even the greatest were faced with a, a, a direction and choice. And it was so manifest itself on a Zoom call with President Biden and the Congressional Democrats. There is nobody in the modern Democratic Party that I think exemplifies who we are, what we should be, what we aspire to be, the guts, the courage, the everything else, and frankly, Congressman Jason Crow. Jason ran against an entrenched incumbent in a very tough district and won. Just by way of background, uh, he's a, a public the school educated guy. He was a member of the 101st Airborne. I don't need to tell you what that means, but maybe it's more importantly, he was a member of the 75th Ranger Regiment. Let me tell you, that, that's not an easy thing to do. I'm pretty sure I couldn't do it, and I'm pretty sure you couldn't do it, but he did it. Then he ran for Congress. And then he asked President Biden part of a very legitimate discussion about the path to victory and was I, th I think Fred was not this is not who he is but snapped at Jason and I, I sure, certainly don't think that President Biden should be defined at that moment but I think the Democratic Party does need to be defined by that moment because it's really the Jason Crows of the world that our party should be about and we're in a very difficult time. You don't have to tell me. You don't have to tell me that I've been urged by people to like lay off, let's get together, this is inevitable. And I don't believe that. And I have plenty of friends that tell me that because when I signed up for the Democratic Party when I was, I don't know, 14, 15 years old, I, I signed on for hope. And that's exactly where I am today. I believe that we are the only hope for America. I believe that President Biden deserves to be in Hall of Fame, needs to be revered, whose memory should always be invoked. But I'm telling y'all, man, it's time to do something different. Thank you very much for all of your previous support and love, and I appreciate and love every one of you. Thank you. That last bit at the end, I'm telling y'all, it's time to do something different. And he's talking about President Joe Biden. Um, I don't know who Jason Crow is. I'm definitely going to look him up. Um, any man who's done the work and gone through the process to be invited to join the 75th Ranger Regiment is 100% hardcore. I've only know one person that's ever done that. I only know one. And that person was telling me how difficult it is. I've talked to Green Berets and Green Berets are telling me like, yeah, man, what those, what those Rangers are doing, what those scrolled out dudes are doing is insane. Good thing they're on our team. So any, any man who's been invited to join the 75th Ranger Regiment is a soldier's soldier. So I'm definitely going to look this, this brother up. I believe it's too late to make any changes at this point. I don't know how that will work. Um, but as you can see, 
more and more Democrats, more and more people on that side of the fence are starting to step up and call for change. This is huge. The raising Cajun, lifelong Democrat, for him to make this video and put it out there for the world to see and to share that information about a congressional call, you know, Zoom call that he was on and whatever Biden did or said must have been far worse than what I'm thinking right now. Um, and the fact that he did and or said that to someone with a military record uh, like this Jason Crow sounds like someone who can win um, an election in a tough district, probably in a, you know, maybe in a very, very conservative district. Again, I don't know much about this guy. I'm have to look him up. But for James Carville to come out and make this statement, I think is earth moving. We can see what's going on on the Democratic side of the fence. And on the Republican side, they're all getting in line like they always do. Doesn't mean that all of them are going to vote for Trump. There are a lot of Republicans out there who won't vote for Trump. That doesn't mean they're going to vote for a Democrat. There are a lot of Republicans out there, you know, the never Trumpers who won't support him. And of course, they're out there. You know, you got some heavy hitters in the Republican Party who are pretty much outcasts at this point. So. Again, America's never really been splintered like this politically in my lifetime. This is. You know, this is history in the making, the kind of stuff historians are going to be talking about for a very long time. But I just thought I'd throw that up here real quick. Um, I'm going to link this video in the description below so you guys can check out the whole thing. The first half of the video, James Carville was just talking about his thoughts on the Democratic Party and and why he thinks that way. And, you know, just so you can get a glimpse of how true to his heart and how close to his being the, the party is. Like this guy bleeds blue. Um, wow. So let's keep our eyes on what's going on. Um, I have no idea what's going to happen moving forward. But this is this is big. This is big. Uh, I'm going to leave you guys with that. And I'm going to try to get me some sleep. I'll be back tomorrow. And I um, hope to see you guys real soon. I'm D.L. Saint. I'm going to talk to you all later. Peace.